Hey, what's up everybody? It's the Hyphenate here. And today I'm gonna show you guys how to easily use your Rode Wireless Pro with your PC or Mac computers so that you can use it with Zoom, OBS, video editing programs, DAWs, or pretty much any other software that has a microphone input option. You'll have your receiver connected to your computer via the USB-C port so that you can use one or both transmitters. Whether you're using the built-in microphones or any other microphone source connected to the 3.5 millimeter jack, such as the lavalier mic that I currently have on me, or even a shotgun microphone or dynamic microphone that has XLR with an XLR cable to 3.5 millimeter adapter connected directly to your transmitters. I'm gonna show you guys on a PC, but again, this works also on a Mac. We're gonna take the receiver and connect your computer via USB-C to the receiver. Now this is gonna allow you to use a Rode Wireless Pro microphones without a microphone preamp or an audio interface. Once the receiver is connected to the computer, it should automatically recognize it as an audio device. Here on PC, we're gonna go to the settings page, go to system, sound, we're gonna scroll down to input. As you can see here, it has the built-in microphone on my laptop and it already has selected the Wireless Pro RX, RX for receiver. If we click on that, we can go into the options here. Don't change the format. Now your input volume, you can change. Now normally I put it to 90. Now this can vary depending on how hot you want your signal to come out of your receiver. Keep in mind in your road settings, you can actually change the receiver output volume as well as the transmitter output volumes. So now I'm gonna show you guys in OBS and how to add this as an audio source. Here under sources, we're gonna click the little plus symbol and go to audio input capture. I'm gonna rename it to Rode Wireless Pro. And then now under devices, you can find your Wireless Pro RX. Click on that, press OK. And then here you'll see now in OBS, we actually have audio coming in directly from here. Now again, you saw that I put it at 90 and it's getting pretty hot, so it's pretty loud, but it's not clipping. If you are clipping on here, you can change the output volume on your receiver, on your transmitter, or even here on the fader on OBS. So there you guys have it. That's how simple it is to use your Rode Wireless Pro with a Mac or PC computer so that you can use it with any audio software, OBS, Zoom, video editing programs, DAWs, etc. Hopefully this video helped you. If it did, please drop a like on this video, drop a comment below if you have any questions, and please make sure to subscribe. I also have a lot of other Rode Wireless Pro tutorials on this channel, as well as a lot of other OBS tutorials on this channel. Make sure to check out those playlists. If you're interested in getting the Rode Wireless Pro or any of the other gear that I use, I do have links in the description where you can purchase it. It doesn't change the price that you get it at, but it does help this channel. Please make sure to drop a like on this video, drop a comment below if you have any questions, and please make sure to subscribe. I have a lot more videos coming soon. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.